Hi everyone, it's Angie, Treasured Vintage. Uh, I thought I would bring you a video, and I have a small unboxing to do. Um, I'm still waiting for my big, um, about 16 pounds of jewelry coming, hopefully. Um, it is in Philadelphia, but uh, I hope that I will get it soon in the new year. So here's my... Uh, here are a few things that I am going to list as soon as I get them pictured. And one thing I have already listed, which is this really pretty gold-filled scarab bracelet. Um, it's so unique because of the shapes. So I really like it. I haven't seen one that has these shapes on it. So that is freshly listed in my shop, dazzledbyvintage.etsy.com. And hopefully I'll get these listed or start on them because I have to get some of them pictured first. This is a really pretty collar stay. And it's, it's old. Um, it actually could be gold filled. I'm not sure. Um, have to look into that a little more, but it's, um, it's really pretty. I love the design of it. I think if it was gold filled, it'd be marked, but it's pretty nonetheless. I just really like it. Here are some sparkly chandelier earrings I'm going to list. I love the different sparkles, the way the light's catching them. They're like iridescent blue and has the nice lever back, which I do like that type of clasp a lot. So these are really pretty. They are not signed, but they're nice um, medium to well quality, well made, I would say. So I'll get those listed. And I have a pair of sterling and mother of pearl heart earrings that I want to list. I sold a pair that had a blue stone, probably a topaz in the middle here um, at Christmas time, so. I noticed I had those, and I'll list those. These are pretty, <clears throat> no name, but really pretty faux marcasite with the rhinestone. Love the look of those. They're, I, I think, deco, would you say? Look. I think they're deco looking. This is a pin with some coins hanging on it. Coin jewelry is always good. Although well, I'll be taking a chance with this one because I'm not sure, but it's a cute little pin. And it has the coins going for it, so. I try just to list a variety of things that I think people might, might like, all kinds of different styles and not necessarily ones that I would wear or like myself, but I just keep in mind there are different people looking at the shop and different people with different tastes. These are cute. Um, I love the texture, the, the uh, mill grain texture of the beadwork like uh, finish on there. And they're just a pretty pair of faux turquoise pierced earrings. These are tiny. Um, 1928 earrings. And I think the stone in them is so pretty. And they're clip-ons. Fairly certain they're 1928. I can't be for positive on that, but, um... They look like it to me. They have that little texture on the back. Here's a pretty um, ch 
chain with this faux pearl, kind of like a stylized heart. And it has the faux pearl that goes around. It's movable. And it's kind of, you know, nicely made. And I like the chain a lot. I don't see that kind of chain very often. Especially with a pendant necklace. So these are things I'm going to try to list in my shop very shortly. And let's get to the unboxing. I bought some earrings on Macari. And let's see what they look like. I think there was a Les Bernard. I think there was Les Bernard in there. or Some, some designer is the reason that I bought them. So hopefully they'll be nice. I think they're clip-on, all of them. Just got it pretty nicely packaged. So that's nice. That's always nice to see that somebody took the initiative to have a little stamp made. Oh, keep, keep bumping that, sorry. Oh, and they're all together here on a nice so what do we have I recognize right away the Monet um, I believe these these are something that I wanted a name that I wanted let me look at these But I, did, I do like those. I do like those. I always like the faux tortoise. And, um, yeah, they're cool. I like this nice comfort clip. And they have a really cool look to them. So I like those. They're chunky. Let's see what these are. Oh. Some of these ones that are tension clips, possibly. Yeah. These are just the tension type earrings. And they are a designer. Are they Napier? Yes. Yes, they are Napier. So I will look those up in my book to see if... They may be in my Napier book. It'd be nice if they were book pieces. Um, it looks like there's slight wear on them, but there really isn't. I think it's just the lighting. They are nice and pretty and gold. What do we have here? I'll have to just turn it over and see if the you can see names on the backs. Oh, this is... Uh, Seagull of California, I see that. Uh, oh, signer. Let's look at the signer. That might have been the designer that I wanted. Signer is always good to get. Always a nice find. I like those. They're in excellent condition. Very nice. Very nice. I love the looks of these. Also, very 80s looking. It doesn't look like they're signed, but I still love that design. I think they're cool. Very cool. They're nicely made. Nice and sturdy. What are these beauties? These are pretty. These are pierced. I don't want to lose that little back. Um, 
Love that design too. We don't have any maker's mark on that. It needs, needs cleaned up a little bit. But I love that design. I love that 80s look. That's my favorite time for jewelry, I think. Well, that in the 70s. Some older things I enjoy, but I'm just kind of stuck right now in a 70s, 80s vibe time warp. Well, these aren't the easiest things to get off of here, but I see they have a name on them. For heaven's sakes. Oh my goodness. Am I going to need my scissors? Because I can do that. I can do that. Sorry about that. But you are coming out. You're coming out of there. There we go. Oh, aren't they pretty? Look at the nice texture on those. It's got like a rose or something on them. Um, these are... These are also Lewis Siegel, California. L LH or... I think it's LH Siegel. But that's Lewis. Lewis Siegel, California. Those are nice. Love those. I love those. Very nice. Let's see, these are pretty too. What these are. These look like they should be signed, and they are. Uh, does that say V? Let's see here. It looks like a V with a copyright sign, so I'll have to look into that a little more, but I love that look too. Very nice condition. You see that V with the copyright. I actually have to look back at the um, the listing and see what, uh, what that might, if she listed the name in the listing. Because I can't think right off what that would be with a V. I don't know if you can see that pretty texture, but they are really, really beautifully textured. Really nice. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now there's some ho-hum ones in here. Um, I think I already have these. Um, Monet's. Maybe I have the clip ones though, so that would be good. Um, if they made the clip ones. Is it Cord Cordelia? I forget the name of these, but uh, they're a very familiar looking pattern of Monet. Okay, these are beautiful. These look like Renoir or something. Copper, possibly. I can get them out without breaking them. Let's see here. Matisse. They are Matisse, which is the name before the Ren before Renoir, or you know, sometimes you see Matisse Renoir. But I love those. They almost look like a robin's egg. It's a little bit different. Well, I don't know. This, the color in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Gee whiz. The color is not showing up right, but it's really more of a turquoise than a, um, than that shade of blue, whatever that shade's looking like. These are interesting. Interesting. These are old looking. The snail, and I don't know what that material might be there. If it's lucite, probably is lucite, but I'm not sure. And look at those old backs on there. Definitely oldies. 
30s maybe? I shouldn't even guess because I have no no idea other than they're probably prior to the 50s, I would say. I would I would say 40s or earlier on those, but I can't be for certain. I'm not very good at the at, at uh, identifying the time periods on the older stuff. And I might not get these out of here because I can see what they are from here. And they're so hard to get out. Oh, and I'm bumping the thing again. Nice classic style, um, two-tone hoops. And you can see what the rest are. These are these possibly could be Laguna. Um, these look like they're Sterling with Marcosite. I believe they are. I think I remember that in the listing. It could be cleaned up a little bit, but. Um, something, something in 925. I guess it probably says Sterling. Maybe the maker's mark in there. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to clean those up some. We have little tiny Christmas trees. And let's see what else. I think that does it except for these here, which I don't know if they're a designer or not. Nicely made, but I don't think they are signed. Classic 80s look. Okay, it's just a short video today. Um, hopefully I'll get the massive box of uh, jewelry soon so that I can open that on a live um, broadcast, I'm hoping. I will do that on one of my Sunday live broadcasts. And until then, you all have a blessed new year coming up. And um, please send your thoughts, prayers, and well wishes to my friend Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Um, just thinking about her constantly. And um, just praying for her good, speedy recovery. And um, thank you, everybody, for watching. And um, be kind when you're picking. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.